Hey, what's going on guys? Phil here. Welcome back to not just another video, but the video, MechWarrior 5 Clans. Here we have it right in front of you. I'm so excited to talk about what I saw at the GDC uh, you know, conference with uh, Russ Bullock sitting down with me remotely. It was super cool of him to do that. So thank you again for the opportunity to see this ahead of time and then be able to share it with you guys. Okay, so what I'm gonna be basically doing is uh, talking through what I saw at uh, you know this live demonstration. Um, there was a beginning cinematic that I think uh, I'll be able to cover a little bit in a trailer. But needless to say, the first thing uh, you're gonna notice is that you have five warriors and this sort of intro screen uh, was again, a live demo. Um, it, clans are a little bit different than Intersphere as far as the most part, if you just took them generically across the board. Um, again, Russ had stressed uh, uh, previously on the podcast, but also in this sort of uh, uh, demo that the clan is going to be a heavily narrative design, almost so far potentially that Maybe there won't be mech on mech combat. Maybe it's just you standing around or talking with the other uh, pilots or commanders and so forth and so on. And I thought that was actually really cool. And one thing that I feel like has always been missing uh, specifically from games is the universe, right? When you think of Battletech, uh, MechWarrior is uh, Battletech. Uh, Battletech is MechWarrior. And yes, we've had games and yes, we've had a little bit of narration specifically like MechWarrior 3, the you know commander, uh, but as far as characters and character development, Mercs, in my opinion, fell way short of that. Well, needless to say, what I saw uh, during this demonstration had me very happy. Unreal 5 and the motion capture is absolutely fantastic. Um, and you're going to see that in the cin cinematics uh, specifically. The voice acting was uh, great. Uh, again, uh, I just want to sort of point out that this was a live demo. Uh, I don't know how far along they are in development, um, but what you're about to see behind the scenes and stuff we're going to talk about, I saw live. Okay, so um, all that being said, thoroughly impressed by this. And so let's go ahead and just dive in to what I saw. And some of the first things you're going to notice um, when it starts off is it's very similar in what I would say uh, Mercs is. It seems to be where you you have missions, you're going to be dropped off. Now, I didn't get any information about how missions are selective, how linear they're going to be, even though he did say in a previous podcast that they are going to follow a linear sort of uh, path. If you know anything about Battletech history, there's a lot going on there as far as the initial invasion and so forth and so on. We don't know really where you're coming in at. He did mention that this, uh, you know, you're going to start off at some the home worlds of Huntress right finalizing your trial of position in the clan and then i'm assuming you're going to be part of this initial invasion so i, I would assume it's going to ramp up right your new mech warrior your new uh you know uh, star commander which is basically a commander of your five pilots and you're gonna you know have to prove yourself in combat so the first thing you are going to notice is the ui okay and the ui has definitely been updated from mercs uh you've got uh, a, a much more streamlined information you have a health of your pilots uh, you're able to issue commands you can see order all through all the way through f2 f3 f4 and f5 um, and uh, just overall general just sort of cleaner cleaner crisper um, you know uh, ui and we saw this similar into mech warrior online as well the clans have it a little bit different ui and that makes sense right um, and as it progresses here, the, the thing that uh, during a mission is you have the same sort of audio cues and visual cues, right? Uh, one of your pilots will uh, speak up and you'll see that, in, you know, with their their uh, actual live uh, avatar. Uh, it's 3D based uh, with dialogue. And this actually was very well represented. I was very pleased with it. Um, the lines didn't seem out of, out of place. It seemed very matter of factly. Uh, and again, what to expect from you know the, the clans as well. And the mission that I saw uh, was basically the one of the initial sort of starter missions where your objective as your star uh, in the, you know, you've got light mechs, you're in a shadow cat, you have Arctica, Cheetah, Miss Lynx, Kit Fox, and a Viper, right? Very fast uh, group. You're you're there to scout. Um, you've got uh, you know uh, other AI elements, and that was actually really cool. That I, I liked is right from the get go, you're tasked with uh, you know going and uh, checking out. 
uh, an area of opportunity and then uh, making sure it's clear and then you have uh, reinforcements called in and they're dropped live. Okay, something else that I thought was really, really cool was this usage of sort of a scan mechanic. Uh, and then actually it, for me, what was really cool with it is it had a throwback to the cartoons. Uh, for those that followed the Battletech cartoon, they had enhanced imaging, right? Where you had the clans, it was almost this 3D, it almost looks like Tron, right? And well, during this, you actually uh, looks like you're, you have a scan mode um, and that sort of aesthetic pops up. And I thought that was really cool. It's a, it's a really cool homage to uh, the original uh, cartoon. Um, and it can, of course, like I said, from a visual perspective, I think it's really cool. It's, uh, it's got this uh, predator, uh, predi you know, predator sort of heat vision and then Tron look. And anyways, I really dug it. So uh, needless to say, the mission progressed. And um, again, you started engaging. Uh, now, what I don't really know is how that will or will it be any different if they have any gameplay mechanics for those that are unaware. Clans, and especially Smoke Jaguars, adhere to a strict um, you know, warrior code of one-on-one -on -one engagement for the most part until things are broken. Now, um, it did, you know, uh, showcase uh, the clan wars just open up and engaging and start engaging targets, but that could have already been pre-done and again, in a mission briefing of just, hey, this is the rules, go ahead. I don't know that. I don't know if they're going to have any type of system in place to, um, you know, honor that sort of Zellbriggan one-on-one um, -on -one combat. That all being said, it is quite common for uh, just sort of all out uh, combat happening, especially once the first contact is made, right? Um, that being said, a very similar combat feel to Mercs uh, when watching the gameplay footage. I didn't see anything out of place. It looked like what you'd expect. Uh, again, most of this uh, was done in third person. Um, I actually enjoy third person as well because you get to see the mech and the animations. Um, that being said, the animations uh, did look, uh, I would say, good. I don't know if they're uh, different than uh, MWO or Mercs but it seemed to be uh, streamlined, uh, nothing too crazy, not a super organic like I'd have wished they would have liked, uh, went, but uh, overall, Again, I was quite happy with it. Uh, again, uh, for those that are uh, uh, not familiar with, uh, you know, uh, battle mechs, battle mechs are very organic in their movement. I mean, some of them are basically human, uh, humanoid in shape, and then of course, uh, you know, animals. But anyways, uh, I digress. Um, as far as the overall mission, it was pretty straightforward. Scouting, they're going to move forward. There was a lot of uh, back and forth, uh, you know, issuing commands, and that was actually one of the biggest things I wanted to sort of talk about here was the ability. For for you to issue commands from like a, a global perspective. And this is actually something that Russ talked about. Um, and I would assume it's straight from feedback from Mercs is this top down uh, ability to issue commands and link commands in order. You can say, go over here, go over there. And uh, what I found was really cool too, is this is Unreal 5. So this is actually like a top down perspective. It's almost like a satellite is zoomed in. Uh, so this is live, like you can see the, the, the 3d terrain moving and everything and i this is so important and 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 this is one of those features that i, I felt was missing from mercs um to be able to issue complex commands okay not only are you able to sc uh, scroll wheel up and down um, there is also a legend you can wsd move the camera around and you can select uh, a mech and attack move uh two and stuff like that and that is absolutely fantastic because in some of the missions in Mercs uh, where maybe you wanted your Lance mates uh, to be able to go destroy this or that, you had to physically go over there. It was, it was sort of clunky. This is so streamlined. I'm so excited to use this because it basically says, hey, go here. Okay, and it seems very seamless, very very quick to be able to issue commands. Um, so that was something I was uh, so excited to see. Uh, caught me by surprise because visually I think it looks fantastic. It's very streamlined. It's very easy to use. Now, I, I will point out that this this all makes sense to me as well because uh, this is going to be re-released on consoles, right? So not only is it going to be on PC, right? It's going to be on your Xbox. It's going to be on your PlayStation. So again, these command wheel and sort of easy access, be able to click and point and say, go here, um, making it easier for not only PC gamers, but also just console players to be able to issue complex commands, uh, whether it's just move here or attack this target um, is really, really nice. And speaking of attack the target, they also had the ability in the background to uh, issue sort of a queue 
Um, so you can actually queue up uh, what takes priority and, hey, attack this target and then attack that target in that order. And I, for me, that was absolutely fantastic because Again, let's just say you have enemy mechs that you need to take care of first. Um, you can send a, a, a fast moving mech to get behind enemy lines or whatever and take out uh, that uh, support mech or uh, vehicle, and then you want it to, to focus fire. So uh, to me, I feel like the, uh, the strategy and tactics there is gonna be absolutely fantastic uh, across the board. Um, as far as we see a typical array of uh, light mechs uh, and some mediums on the intersphere side. We see some VTOLs uh, as well. Uh, we see a few different uh, assets being used. Obviously, dropships dropping you off, and then uh, dropships uh, uh, potentially being used as uh, you know IEDs, if you will, um, uh, VBIDs. Uh, but overall, uh, again, these are little things that I feel like uh, made the gameplay, uh, you know, go quite well um, uh, as far as the visual uh, sort of demo. And when I was watching it, it felt very streamlined, felt like, uh, and again, especially with that command uh, ability. Now, the uh, uh, Shadowcat does have a mask and a little bit different uh, use case here. Basically, you, a command wheel, if you will, you pull up the command wheel and then you can use mask. And, and 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 stuff like that now i'd assume I, I didn't ask this but i would assume for pc uh players you're gonna be able to you know uh, reconfigure your keyboard layout uh, and do other things as well with key bindings i would assume you'll have that functionality as well so um again uh i was i was very very happy with the overall um um you know pacing of things uh, again I, I believe what we saw was uh you know an early mission right you're starting off with light and medium mechs now this demo wasn't terribly long and it only gave us a brief uh sort of glimpse of what was to come the overall mission structure looked very very similar as far as a, a mission you drop and you know the difference being is it's not it doesn't look like it's proc gen like mercs was this is all uh hand uh you know made um and uh the stunning you know environments you can see this is very uh you know desert uh, red uh, sand, uh, you know, some plateaus out there, really digging the vibe. Um, and uh, the, you know, graphics looked good. Unreal 5 uh, titles are starting to come out uh, on that platform. Um, the weapon systems, particle effects and stuff like that uh, all looked good. Um, I'd assume based on Unreal 5, uh, it'll have NVIDIA uh, DLSS. I don't know about AMD side, so you can expect this to run really well on systems. Overall, I was really happy with what I saw. It actually put a smile on my face multiple times again at the very beginning with watching the cinematics um, and the motion capture and the voice acting was uh, was I would say superb um, and it's gonna be one of those things when I do my reaction video on that uh, in particular and again I think there's a trailer for this as well coming out that we'll uh, we'll talk about um, I was I was sort of taken back right this is what I was expecting uh, with Mercs um, and I feel like what this is going to do is level up the game um, as far as what we expect as players and community members and Piranha Games was delivering in the uh, cinematics. Now, and again, those are in-game graphics. The characters uh, look the exact same as you see them pop up in their their uh, you know mechs as well and the voice acting uh, as well. So um, nothing out of the ordinary. I'm just reporting on what I saw here. Uh, overall, the environments look great. The lighting effects look great. The particle everything pretty much looks what you'd expect on a uh you know new engine the latest engine out here um and uh, you know really i can't say anything other than what i just saw right and what i saw i was impressed with um obviously uh we have a lot more to talk about when uh more information releases um but overall guys i just want to sort of give you my feedback on what was going on and um, yeah, overall, I was I was super excited to be able to see uh, the clans uh, ahead of time. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, I'm I, I don't you know, as a fan, it's always one of those things where you're you're right in the thin line. Like, I, I don't want to be over uh, overly hyped about this. I want to compose myself. Um, but overall, I will say my critique in the past with Mercs, it seems like uh, Piranha Games is uh, cleaning up some of those things. Again, with a command wheel, that command wheel uh, and command ability to issue commands and queue commands and queue attack here and then this and then that, that's that's big, especially playing by yourself. Speaking of, uh, the, you can invite like four friends. There can be four 
other people connecting and playing co-op. That's right. You can have five people all together, which is pretty dope. And again, I see I see like where games like Helldivers 2, that co-op, and I feel like a lot of people just want to be able to play with their friends. So I think this is going to offer. As far as the length of the overall campaign, I have no idea yet. I know that uh, Russ did say he would definitely do a podcast as we get closer to launch to talk a little bit about more details but obviously a lot of that stuff is going to be you know um you know close to their chest uh they're not going to be talking about everything because you don't want to you don't want to give away too much here okay um just overall just to sort of recap uh cinematics were absolutely fantastic i love the use of lore and and dialogue and and the commander that you're going to see in the cinematic and the 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 warriors the new uh young uh warriors uh you know they look fresh faced. And uh, obviously, as someone who's been in the military, I also, uh, you know, it's one of those things where like, oh, yeah, I remember being like that, just a fresh faced boot, doesn't really know anything, thinks he does and wants to prove himself. Totally understand that. And you have this old hardened uh, warrior. And in clans, again, um, this guy is is going to be, uh, you know, a tough nugget to, to please, right? Especially, uh, again, um, just knowing the smoke jaguars and the crusaders if you will so uh it was really cool seeing that um uh, recap again in cockpit new updated ui functionality issuing commands uh using this sort of like satellite uh you know battle map uh that was really cool being able to queue targets for your friendlies you know tack here and then that and then that be able to move here that's really dope as well new mechs of course all of my clan uh you know uh, buddies out there are going to be super stoked to be able to pilot uh, mechs. As far as acquiring mechs, I have no idea. Uh, Russ did say there would be a mech lab. Um, obviously, I didn't expect there not to be, albeit I think it'll be a little bit different than Mercs, right? These are Omni mechs for those that are under, uh, unaware. Omni mechs basically just think of they're very modular, they're easy to repair. Um, you can hot swap parts uh, relatively easy to suit what mission. Let's just say you have a quick mission, you want to go in there hard and fast with a lot of ballistic missiles. But boom, 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 you're not worried about ammo. Oh, maybe you have a prolonged combat. You may want to switch over to more, um, you know, energy focused weapons. Um, so that's what basically Omnis are. I don't know how they're going to tackle that. And I look forward to seeing and seeing them showcase that because I feel like, again, um, the narration and sort of involvement, I've said it before, I don't think you necessarily have to have a deep mech lab. I think just customization in general. Um, and if there's plenty of narration narration and story and stuff like that, uh, I think you can sort of skimp out on it. That being said, I don't think they're going to do that. And there's nothing in this uh, demo that I saw uh, to sort of showcase that. Um, all that being said, again, um, I'm really stoked about this. Uh, I was sort of, you know, again, I've had I've been very critical of Mercs and I don't really have anything to be critical here of. I do need to see more. Um, I'm, I'm excited for this. Uh, really, I'm excited to see people introduced to what I feel is a story untold. And that's something that I look at this. I'm I'm very uh, optimistic that MechWarrior Battletech, I think, hasn't really, you know, reached the, the global masses. And I, it's such a re rich and deep lore and story. And I mean, there's there's everything. And I'm really hoping to see whether Piranha Games delivers. Will you at the end of this game have a different perspective of clan smoke jaguar right is every clan smoke jaguar a baddie right if you are a soldier if you you know and you're part of a bigger group that maybe does bad things you know like how are they going to spin that i mean we all for those spoiler alert clan smoke jaguars aren't good guys as far as the general i mean uh you know remember turtle bay glassing entire cities from orbit i mean uh, atrocities right but also too is the you know um are they're human uh, what does that mean are, are there gonna be uh decisions that you're gonna have to make are you gonna be the baddie or can you do something else i don't know um but those are definitely interesting sort of dialogue and i wonder how the writers for the story are going to handle that um, and are you going to walk away appreciating uh, the story of Clan Smoke Jaguar and the position some of them were in. And for those that don't know, it's 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 about honor. And, and you know, um, you go down with the ship, if you will. And even if you don't agree, uh, you know, you are honor bound to fulfill your commander's 
uh, intent. And uh, yeah, so it'll be very interesting. So anyways, guys, let me know what you thought. Um, obviously, there's a lot going on here. We've, we're going to have, uh, you know, new mechs, new chassis, new characters and characters for the first time that I think you're going to uh, connect with and actually know. And that's actually something I'm looking forward to is uh, who is this star of young mech warriors and, and also too, who's going to be the protagonist, antagonist, so forth and so on. Um, and of course, I'll report more uh, as I uh, move forward and as we see more for about clans, um, I'll report on that as is. But overall, um, I hope you enjoyed this and this sort of preview uh, for what's coming up um, this year. And again, uh, we don't know necessarily when uh, the release date is. All we know is it's going to be 2024. And as soon as I hear anything, I will be reporting back. So that's going to be it. Let me know again in the comments down below. Are you looking forward to this? Is this is something that uh, you're sort of, uh, have you been on the fence about? Is this change your mind? Um, overall, what's your opinions on uh, the footage? And of course, my feedback here. Let me know, um, are the features that I brought up uh, something that intrigues you? Uh, and again, I can't really talk about anything more because this is all I saw. Uh, it's this one mission, this one demo. Um, and, uh, you know, of course, uh, we have a lot to talk about when we get more information and, of course, when the game comes out. So anyways, uh, if you plan on buying this, let me know. If you're planning on just sort of sitting on the fence and seeing more, let me know. Um, and again, if my clan uh, guys out there, are you super excited to play the Jaguars? Are you going to play the baddies? Are you going to role play out there? I don't know. Let me know what you guys uh, feel like um, about playing a smoke Jaguar in MechWarrior 5 clans. That's going to be it for me. Again, if you found this video informational, click that uh, like button, share it with your buddies. Maybe they are out of the loop. Be a mech bro and share this information. Let them know, hey, this is coming down the pipeline. You should be aware. And of course, make sure to join us on Discord. I'll have a link in the description. Uh, it's super easy to be able to do it. Um, and of course, if you guys want to help support uh, the stream, head over to my stream, twitch.tv forward slash NGNGTV. Again, I'll have a link down below. Guys, it's been a pleasure. Until next time.